Hi, um, are there any hoes over here? Where are the quarantine cuties, the in the house hoes, boys in bed? <laughs> Where are the hoes at? Where are the hoes at? It's beautiful that Jeezy and Janie Mai got engaged. It's very fucking beautiful. However, let me just tell you something, right? Don't be doing all this cute shit when the rest of us are literally in the house. Like the single people cannot even be dating right now. We are all miserable right now. We're either miserable or we're breaking the fucking rules. That's it. That's that's it. That's it. That's the only way that I'm gonna walk out of the quarantine still having hus. Congratulations, celebrate your love. I will be happy for you when the quarantine is over. I feel like at this point I'm 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 gonna walk out the coronavirus pandemic with an alcohol problem and fucking no hose. Like, there's literally, I can't do nothing but sit in my house and drink. I either gotta break the rules, or I gotta compromise and just, like, respond to, like, what are you doing texts all day long. What do you mean, what am I doing? Babe, I'm in the fucking house. I'm in the fucking house. I can't do nothing else. What you want me to do? I'm either, I'm either in the house, I'm at the grocery store, or I'm filling up my gas tank. Like, there's, what options do we have? You need to go to the park and get some fresh air? Girl, I live in the hood. We ain't doing that. Well, I ain't doing that. Because the people that's at the park in the hood right now, I don't want, I don't want to see them. I'm just not. And it's nice outside. It sounds like a summertime shootout. I'm good. I'm okay. You know how crazy it got earlier? I left this nigga a voicemail. <laughs> and then I saw this girl on Instagram talking about some, I feel bad for the single people that are quarantining by themselves right now. That sucks. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. We fucking know. And I feel bad for people that are in relationships with people that they've never had to spend this much time with. Good luck. Even though there are a few people in relationships that I've been, I've been questioning them anyway. Hmm. I wonder if people are still cheating right now. Cause like, like you can't just be gone and somebody not notice. <laughs> like, you can't go to your side chick house or your side dude house. Like, oh, I thought she was going to the grocery store. Yeah, it was a line to get inside. Okay, so he was gone for an hour. There was one dude that was on my, like, in my phone heavy. In my phone heavy. And he has a girlfriend. He has a girlfriend. He's cool as shit. And he's fine. So, like, yeah. I, like, when he texts me, I respond. I don't be in his face, like, oh my gosh, blah, blah, blah. Like, Leo girlfriend. I'm not, I'm not that person. But that's also not my relationship to respect. So I'm like, if you're texting me, I don't really know what to tell you, but my phone's been real dry from him since this damn um, quarantine shit that started. My phone been real dry from him. I'm pretty sure he uh, blocked me on social media too. I'm like, bro, you was on me. In my DMs, the fuck? Now all of a sudden, because you stuck in the house with your girlfriend for a month <laughs> now you're a good human get the fuck y'all are weird i'm not gonna name names because that's just like that's not that ain't even right granted he the one that's wrong somebody texts me i just respond because that's what i do i'm a good person and i've been very clear about the fact that he's just a friend that ain't my business i just i'm just curious like our niggas in the house are niggas in the house being actual boyfriends or being actual girlfriends? Or are y'all out here like, my side chick need love too? Why do y'all have side chicks and side niggas? You should either have all only side people and no main person. You should either have all side people or one main person. That's just how I feel about the situation, but... Wouldn't even be thinking about this if, you know, I didn't feel like I was potentially about to lose all my hoes. All of them. Just.
just like all of them. My love life is probably gonna fall apart. I need to figure something out. Granted, the types of dudes that I like, the ones I like are still outside. Let's be very clear. The ones I like are still outside, may not even survive the fucking crisis. AKA, I'm definitely gonna have no hoes. Definitely. This is gonna be none. That's it. Hoes gone. I'm gonna have to train up somebody's child. And I don't wanna do that. At all. Cause the fuck? Or date somebody's dad. Uh, I date somebody's dad now. I date somebody's dad. No, but seriously, if you have, if you have dating suggestions, virtual dating suggestions for right now, you know, let me know down below. Cause I can't, I'm not staying in the house another two weeks with zero men. That's so fucking weird. I, I don't like how, how do you date right now? I don't know how you date right now. Like where are we going on dates at? You gotta come to my house. My house ain't but so big. So we either on this comfy ass couch or very close to my bed. Not an ideal date. <laughs> not an ideal date it's kind of the equivalent of like oh let's go get a drink you end up having a bottle now you're drunk and hot and taking your clothes off i really don't want to do that with somebody i'm just meeting my other thought is always like girl what if this nigga kill me why i'm gonna do if he kill me <laughs> That sounds so crazy. Somebody that I was dating, um, we were at a hotel out of town and I don't know why I got this thought. Oh, you know what? I had two edibles. I had two edibles and I wasn't supposed to do that. We were laughing about something. I'm like, hee 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 My thoughts literally jumped from ha 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 whatever the fuck we was laughing at to what the fuck am I going to do if this nigga kill me? <laughs> like, like, first of all, nothing. Because you're going to be dead, stupid. That's always a thought. When you watching Lifetime, or you watching, you watching a horror movie, and this girl just do something so damn stupid, and like in the moment to her, it probably don't seem that dumb. It's like, oh yeah, let this nigga spend the night in my house, even though I've only known him for 45 seconds, and he just flashed the gun. I don't know the conversation good, so yeah, come on in the house. Because you, because she ends up dying, you like, well, yeah, bitch, of course he killed you. The, the fucking Disney Channel, they can do the same two damn things, the same stupid ass thing. Like Snow White, wait, which one was it? This one, the dwarfs with the seven dudes. Okay, yeah. So she, she like, she essentially slept in a in a uh, fucking house with seven men, seven niggas. She ain't know, and was just. In distress, knock the fuck out. I really don't know how the story goes, but I know that part. And like, if if they had never found Snow White's body or some shit like that, and you know that that's what happened, you know that that's what she did, then you looking at the story like, okay, bitch, you slept in a house full of seven men that you didn't know, and they was just watching over your body. Of course, they they killed you and br like did some dumb shit. But because it's Snow White and that ain't what happened, it's like, oh yeah, she just slept in the house with seven dwarves and they skipped down, skipped my little head ass. Like, I'm just saying, you just don't know how shit gonna end. I also did, I did a background check on somebody yesterday and I actually paid, like I paid for the background check. It was a dollar, but I still paid for a background check, which was just like, I feel like it's hard because right now you're either dating somebody that also ain't got shit else to do but talk to your ass or actually has to work and as somebody that doesn't have to work right now unfortunately slash fortunately like that means I either have your undivided attention and I don't want it or not enough of your attention because I'm sitting on the couch bored all day it's like, you know, just, I, I don't know how I'm going to win. I don't know how I'm going to win. I'm going to end up walking out of this with no hoes. I might walk outside butt ass nigga as soon as they say this shit is over. Because, what? How you go from hoses on my line to, can I, um, y'all got any more of them, uh, y'all got any more of them hoes? Because I might, 
I might need a few. I get it. It's a this is a global pandemic. There are bad things happening. People are actually dying. And then there's like tragedies within that major tragedy, which makes the overall tragedy even worse. Vibrators only gonna vibrate for so long. Let's be very let's be very real. It's still plenty of fish in the sea. Plenty of fish. I just don't want to go back out there and have to bring my, you know, my rod and my bait. I don't want to go fishing again. <sighs> yeah, no. I'm not interested. My options are open right now. But I like to have my options open knowing that I have options to choose from. Not just like, damn, I got to go back out fishing. That's crazy. And I feel like that's exactly what's going to have to happen after this is done. Like, I really want to know how people's love lives are going right now. Because if you started... So I met somebody, uh, it was honestly probably like the last day that we were allowed out of the house. And even that was like a little bit of a stretch. And I met somebody then. But it's like, if I don't know you like that and all we do is exchange numbers that one day, like I'm a FaceTime person, but you can't be on FaceTime with just everybody. And after a while you do want that in-person interaction. So like this could either be really good for your dating life or really bad. I wouldn't feel comfortable. I don't really like dating apps anyway. But I wouldn't feel comfortable specifically right now meeting anybody on a dating app. Because first of all, I'm pretty sure that that's what you're like. You're probably sitting there looking at people all day long. Which even if I'm doing the same thing, that's a turn off. Because nigga, what? You sitting here looking for some ass all day? The whole day? I might do, I did Hinge before, and I liked that one because it lets you show a little bit more personality. But also, a lot of them are based off of your present location. And like, I know I like putting niggas at Rebooks, but um, I don't necessarily want hood niggas at Rebooks that live next door to me. That's weird. Nah, bro. I don't, I'm not, mm-mm. Nah. But honestly, this is the longest self-care, like, spa day that I did not ask for and did not want. But I so deserved. I fucking deserved. And I'm going to walk out of this. I'm going to be glowing. My hair going to be real healthy. My skin going to be real clear, real glowy. You know, I'm going to be sitting here doing my little, little kegels. Going to keep it nice and, nice and tight. Walk out of here feeling like a hoe. I'm going to keep eating a uh, little carbs, you know, and like working out three times a week, you know, and like binge watching bad bitches on television, you know, and love stuff and listening to good ass playlists. I'm going to walk out of this a whole new bad bitch. I'm going to walk out of this a whole new bad bitch. Whenever we walk out of it. Hopefully, I still have at least one or two of my hoes. One of my dudes, his phone seems to just be off. He turned the phone off. He turned the phone off. That's one loss right there. I'm literally walking out of the quarantine with no hoes. I'm going to go. I will be back on Thursday with another video. Thursday we will probably be talking fashion and you know, doing something different. But who knows at this point? Who the fuck knows? Who knows what the world is coming to right now? It's all a ruckus. It's a ruckus and a puckus and a fuckus. It's a fuckus right now. It's a fuckus and a ficus. A ficus. I just want to go outside and do hood red things with my friends. They were so fun. I also do hood red things in my house, so it's really not a big deal. But yeah, make sure to follow me on Instagram at the Notorious Court. I'm also on TikTok at the Notorious Court. And you know, I just be I just be vibing in this bitch. I just be vibing in this bitch and washing my hair, shaking my ass real, 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 real fast ish, um, and drinking wine, wine and tequila. But yes, thank you for watching. Happy quarantine. Stay safe. I'm saying happy quarantine like it's fucking happy Kwanzaa. Yeah, no. Um, please stay safe. Please wash your hands. Pre please uh don't be breathing in nobody's face with your spittle on your lips. That's not cute. 
stay safe, stay healthy, use common sense. And if you don't have common sense, borrow somebody else's. That's the way to be. Until next time. Bye.